And we begin this evening with developing news after a car goes airborne and crashes into a home in Hernando County. Good evening, I'm Dave Wagner. And I'm Carolina Lee. So just moments ago, we got some video of the crash when it happened. If you watch the top right of your screen, you will see the car right there go airborne at the turn. That driver was killed and now investigators are looking into this crash. This is on Fulton Avenue in Spring Hill. The Florida Highway Patrol says the driver lost control on a turn and left the roadway. Staying on top of the story for us tonight is 10 Tampa Bay's Miranda Parnell. She is live at the scene of this crash with the latest. Now, Miranda, what have you learned since you got there? We just spoke to the homeowners a few moments ago. They tell us that their neighbors knew something was wrong when they saw the driver come barreling down this road. No brakes in sight. They tell us that the driver hit that embankment, went airborne, coming straight through their yard, still in the air. And I want you to take a look at the tree here. The homeowner estimates that this damage here on the tree is about 11 feet up then crashing into the house. Now we spoke to the homeowner's wife. He tells us she tells us that other drivers knew something was wrong when the original driver blew through a stop sign. Those people followed him and they continued to come over here and help put out the fire after the car hit the home. Now we did speak to one neighbor who says the driver was going so fast his ring camera couldn't even pick up the car driving by. But a man across the street tells us that he saw it. He said it was something out of a movie. As I went and I came out, I saw the cop cars. Uh, I spoke to the neighbor across the street and they let me know that a car had hit the side of the house. So I went to go look at the cameras and when I looked at the cameras, I got to see the car going very fast passing on this side and airborne into the house on the side. Now the homeowner tells me that they do have four children here. Thankfully, those kids were at school when this happened, and they do tell us that the driver passed away at the scene, although they were able to dampen those flames. Right now, their house has all of this damage right now, but they tell us they are working to get it fixed. They still don't know when they will be able to return into their home. Right now, they're out indefinitely as the house has no water and no air. In Hernando County, Miranda Parnell, 10 Tampa Bay. I know they're still investigating.